Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome back to the Rev Room. Today, I'm gonna be going over a really cool product. I got the iRig Pro IO by IK Multimedia. The iRig Pro IO is a audio interface, a portable audio interface for your iPhone. Portable audio interface and MIDI interface. That's right, you can connect MIDI controllers. It comes with a bunch of software from IK Multimedia and it works with Android, Mac, or PC. And this is an official MFI or made for iPhone, iPad, and iPod um, product. Yeah, iPod. That's how long back this thing goes. I saw a lot of reviews on this thing. Looks really cool. The overall features that you get with this thing and what you could do with it is just unbelievable from all the research that I did. So looking at the features on the side of the box, it has audio in and out, MIDI in and out, uh, guitar, line, and mic input. This is a 24-bit, 96 kilohertz, high-resolution audio interface. Really cool, really good numbers there. Uh, headphone slash line out, um, and it's powered by USB, a powered supply, and battery powered. Yes, that's right. You could actually use AA batteries for this, although I would definitely not recommend it because once the battery starts draining on it while you're recording, you're just going to have some really decreasing audio quality while you're using this device. So I would definitely just take the batteries and give them away or just throw them in the garbage. Uh, low latency Windows driver. The contents, you get iRig Pro I.O., you get the lightning to mini DIN connection cable, the USB to mini DIN connection cable, the USB-C to mini DIN connection cable, uh, two MIDI female adapters, two 1.5 volt AA battery, and a Velcro strip. So one important thing to note before I do continue, at the time of release in 2017, you only got the USB and lightning cable, but now they include the USB-C cable. At the time, if you bought it in 2017, you only got those two cables, you didn't get the USB-C cable. You could get it for an additional $30. Well, here, they include it in the iRig Pro I.O. box automatically. They give you every wire to work with, and the good thing is, is that, let's say if I'm using this for my 14 Pro Max, I obviously have the provided lightning cable to use with it. Let's say if I upgrade to the 15 now, I could use it with the provided USB-C cable. So that's really cool. Keeps your device under charge, optional power supply needed, which I actually got right here. Uh, this is the iRig PSU 3 amp power supply unit. It says includes over $450 of software, uh, plus over $100 of iPhone slash iPad apps. But now let's open it up and reveal what's inside, shall we? First thing you're gonna get in the box is the QR codes for the user manual, warranty information to register the product, and download apps. Next up is the iRig Pro IO audio interface itself. Here are the MIDI female adapters. Here is your mini DIN to USB cable. Here is your mini DIN to lightning cable. The USB-C to mini DIN cable. And you also get the Velcro strap. Now before we get this iRig Pro I.O. connected straight up to our iPhone or iPad, the first thing I would recommend is head out to ikmultimedia.com, download the IK Product Manager. If you don't have an account with IK Multimedia, create one there and register your product. That will activate the warranty for the iRig Pro I.O. Once you do that, you are still not done. Make sure while you're in there, go to the settings or downloads and drivers, look for firmware, and you're gonna wanna update the firmware for the iRig Pro I.O. Now, you can pretty much use the device, but let's go over it real quick, right? At the top, it says I.O. 48 volt slash MIDI, and you have your two indicator lights, and I absolutely love this gain dial. Visual, it's not on the side like the older iRig products. I love the front visual giant dial. You just, you know, turn it to set whatever gain you want and it goes all the way up to 10. On the bottom, you're going to have a new trick combo jack. So that takes quarter inch and XLR. On this side, you're going to have your headphone port as well as the headphone volume. 
On this side, you're gonna have the MIDI in and out, as well as the switch to turn on 48 volts of phantom power. On the top, you're gonna have your mini DIN port to pretty much connect this thing up to everything. And next to that is gonna be your DC in port to provide continuous power to your interface as well as charge your device as you're using it. On the back, you're gonna have your battery compartment and you take it off. That is where your double A's will go with this compartment I forgot to mention. You see this hole right here. Your Velcro strap is gonna go here in case you want to mount this to a boom mic or pull and keep it standing vertical. Yeah, guys, this is a lot. I gotta say, I'm really impressed with how much of a punch this thing packs when it comes to connectivity, features, and all the provided hardware that you need to connect up a microphone, guitar, instruments, and even MIDI to any of your iOS devices, or PC or Mac, or even Android. I mean, this thing is just widely universal. It's a great little small tool. How small this thing is, how portable it is. I mean, this is it in my hand. Like, look at this. This is it in my hand. Not even talking about the software that's included or the apps. This is pretty much like the ultimate interface, I would think, for any iOS device. But yeah, guys, let me know what you think. Let me know if you have an iRig Pro IO. Let me know what you think of it down in the comments. This is my first one, first time ever having it. All the reviews I've seen, this thing's been pretty much awesome. This is my first IK Multimedia product. I've never had one before, but that's all I got for you guys in this video today. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and Rumble at The Reverend, of course. And we got videos coming every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I'll see you guys next time. Take care. I'm out.